Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Philo Notes for another edition of our daily whiteboard. Our topic for today's edition is biconditional propositions, and this is our last topic about the statements used in symbolic logic. And just to provide a quick summary, here is a list of our previous editions so that you can check out. And each of these editions focuses on one type of compound statement used in symbolic logic. First, we had conjunctive statements in symbolic logic. Then we have inclusive disjunction in symbolic logic. Third, exclusive disjunction in symbolic logic. And fourth, conditional propositions in symbolic logic. And now we are down to our last topic, which is biconditional propositions in symbolic logic. And so, let's begin. Biconditional propositions are compound propositions connected by the words if and only if. And as we learned in the previous discussion titled Propositions and Symbols Used in Symbolic Logic, the symbol for if and only if is a triple bar. Let's consider this example. I will take a vacation leave if and only if the administration allows me to. P. Q. And so, if we let P stand for I will take a vacation leave and Q for the administration allows me to, then the biconditional proposition I will take a vacation leave if and only if the administration allows me to is symbolized as follows. P if and only if Q. Please note, however, that the connective if and only if should not be confused with only if. This is because the connective only if is a connective of a conditional proposition. Let's take this example. I will take a vacation leave only if the administration allows me to. P. Q. We have to take note that the proposition that comes after the connective only if is a consequent. Thus, if we let P stand for I will take a vacation leave and Q for the administration allows me to, then the statement I will take a vacation leave only if the administration allows me to is symbolized as follows. P, then Q. And for a more detailed discussion on conditional propositions, I would suggest that you would also check out our previous discussion or edition, and that is titled Conditional Propositions in Symbolic Logic. Now, let's proceed to the rules in biconditional propositions. So, the rules state that a biconditional proposition is true if both components have the same truth value. Thus, if one is true and the other is false, or if one is false and the other is true, then the biconditional proposition is false. As we can see, the rules in biconditional propositions say that the only instance wherein the biconditional proposition becomes true is when both component propositions have the same truth value. And this is because in biconditional propositions, both component propositions imply each other. Thus, in the example, I will take a vacation leave if and only if the administration allows me to can be restated as follows. If I will take a vacation leave, then the administration allows me to. And if the administration allows me to, then I will take a vacation leave. Thus the symbol P 
if and only if q means that p is equal to q and q is equal to p let me illustrate that in a truth table and so if p is true and q is true then p if and only if q is true and if p is true and q is false then p if and only if q is false and if p is false and q is true then p if and only if q is false and if p is false and q is false then p if and only if q is true now suppose we have the example not p if and only if q how do we determine its truth value if p is true and q is false and so suppose p is true and q is false then the statement not p if and only if q is true let me illustrate that suppose p is true and q is false now before we apply the rules in biconditionally in the statement not p if and only if q we need to simplify not p first because the truth value true is assigned to p and not to not p and so if we recall our discussion in the rule in negation we learn that the negation of true is false so if p is true then not p is false thus at the end of it all not p if and only if q is true if p is true and q is false all right that's it for today keep looking forward to our series of daily whiteboard editions as we try to make the learning and understanding of philosophy incredibly easy Thanks for joining us today in this edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes. I hope you find this material helpful, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Take care.